continue the chapter A regarding to the relation as right expression. Uh, if we have a time, hopefully, uh, we are going to have the quiz. For the, I think we did only one time quiz. So we missed the chapter 3 and 4 and others. So we will have the quiz. So let's quickly summarize what we have learned so far. So let's say this is the relation. Or it can be relation, table, cell, whatever. So, but we are going to use the name of a relation uh, according to the definition of relational uh, database model. So, according to the relational database model, this is the set of pupils, set of data, set of rows, set of whatever. Right? That is true. And also, on the other side, set of attribute, set of column, set of the whatever. So this is the definition. It is true. Actually, the so far after the relational database model uh, has been used, this side approach, which means how to access the data very fast. So because relatively comparing to the number of columns or number of attributes, number of data are huge, like the, this kind of shape. How many columns or the tuple you have? Like a hundred? How many data? One million. So the problem was how to access data very fast. So most of the DBMS, commercial DBMS, especially relational database management system, the DBMS, IDBMS like Oracle Informics DB tools, IBS, SQL Server, those IDBMS focus on how to access data efficiently this way even including query optimizer and so on. However, when Dr. EF Code proposed a relational database model, this is not the only way to access data. As we have seen the last class, so this is done by what? Selection. Okay? We have the relation and condition. However, this is, is not the only way we have projection. We can access the data by attribute. Now, this is uh, the typical database. This is called column-oriented database. Column-oriented, the query optimizer. Nowadays, this column-oriented, attribute-oriented database are the important, getting focus highlighted. Think about So we have the number of uh, millions of sensors. So we have number one. Sensor number two, sensor number three, sensor number millions of sensor and the deployed using the airplane around the, the United States to get the something data like the temperature, humidity, and the so on. If these kind of sensors are very popular, then distribute and then we try to collect every minute. So at that time, this one is sensor one, sensor two, sensor three, sensor million and collect the data and save it. This is a millions. And this is a one hour, so just a 60. So sometimes we'd like to access the something temperature information in Connecticut. We need to find specific attribute very fast. So this kind of column oriented the database. It's a new kind. It's not new one, but the was not, has not been used a lot. But nowadays, it's a focus. Like the, this kind of style the database. So, projection is also not just limiting the attribute, it can be used for like the uh, query optimizer later also. Okay, but most of commercial DBMS focus on the data oriented, data oriented, rule oriented the access. So, this is the uh, Relational algebra selection. This is a relational algebra, the project. So we can limit the, uh, li li the specific attribute. Okay. For example, I like to access the. I need to retrieve the employee, the first name and last name. 
who works on department number five? How can we access? So we can select employ and DNO is equal to five. Right. Then output of relational algebra can be input of another relational algebra operation. So we need a first name. Last name. I want to rename of this using low F and N, the N N. For example, this is the rename of attribute row. Then also result can be redirect. It's a rename of relation, like the result. Then output of result is like the first name, last name, and J Lee. Like uh, this one. This is the uh, what we discussed the last class. Relational. This is called what? Relational algebra expression by combining number of operation. Okay. Then there are several things we uh, uh, discussed. Uh, since the output of the relation algebra expression is also relation, which means should be unique. Any duplicate data will be removed. Okay? So that is the thing that we discussed. Then plus we learned the this, 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 and the what did we discuss? Because this is a set, we can get the all the benefit of the set operation. Like the set the operation union and intersection minus we can use the such a thing. So I'm not going to uh, explain detail except the union. In case of union, you should be careful. Also uniqueness. So unique, the, the any duplicate data will be removed. What about the later SQL? What is a SQL? Later, in the next class, next chapter, we will talk about, the, we will learn the SQL. SQL is the, so this is the proposed model. Dr. Like EF code proposed in the paper. He didn't implement the database system yet, at that time, 1969, 1970. Instead, he proposed the idea how to manage. It's a proposed data structure. Then later, when he proposed, it's not SQL, it's just a, Relational algebra operations and relational algebra expression. Then later, somebody would like to implement his idea. That is the SQL structured query language. Just like as if somebody proposed an object oriented concept. So why don't we consider the data as an object? Then object has the inhabitant, the more points, the homomorphism, and so on. So this is a characteristic. Then Java group, they decide to implement the object-oriented concept as a what? As a program language. Similarly, SQL is a program language that implement. So it's just based on the, this one, but slightly different. For example, uniqueness. Unique is not the implement of SQL. Any data can be the return, even including the data. Union. However, union is only unique data will be returned. Later we will see. The, this is slightly. Because the still the SQL consider data as a set here. So it's a only unique, automatically unique, the redundant data will be removed in SQL. There's another one. Later. This is a SQL like option, union all. Actually, return including duplicate data. Later, I will explain again. If you cannot understand what the professor Lee is saying, don't worry. We will see in the sequel. So this is a set operation. You understand what is the intersection? What is the minus? Okay. Then plus the last minute of the last class. So I talk about the Cartesian product. So Cartesian product is what? All combination of element. Probably in your the elementary school or middle school, in your algebra class, you have a lot of the question. 
like the, what is not example of the Cartesian approach. It's a combination of that, okay? It's the same approach. Also, when we talk about the definition of a relation, actually, in terms of formal definition of the relation, do you remember that? Formal definition of the relation is Cartesian product of each domain. Do you remember? So R is subset of domain attribute 1. Cartesian product domain attribute 2. Cartesian product of domain attribute n. This is the definition of the informal definition of the relation. So it's the Cartesian product, all combination. For example, in this case, we have two relations. One is a female employee, another one is a EMP, the whatever the name. What is the Cartesian product of the female employee times EMP name? How many tuples? Three by three. Okay. How many attributes? Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plus one, two, three, thirteen. Okay, that is the Cartesian product. Cartesian product just combine all the attributes. Even though they are not same, so it doesn't matter. Just combine. That is the Cartesian product. The so output of Cartesian product, where is that? Oh, the length of this one. Okay, so that is the Cartesian product. So we learn one more the selection, production, law, union, and this one. But why the, this one is important? So I gave the example of the accessing two rooms. So I try to arrange the university, the person using relation I model. So I don't want to combine all the person in one room. Instead, this room is for student. Another room is for instructor. So that's good. So there's no redundant data. But I try to access, OK? I try to get together the student and uh, any person in database class, which means student plus instructor. How can I? get the student plus instructor. I need to access this room, then ask the instructor of the database in another room. Then combine. How to combine? At that time, we can use Cartesian product. So Cartesian product is the only way to combine. Unfortunately, if we Cartesian product, student and instructor, it's all combination. It's not only the database class, right? We need to limit. We need to restrict the data of Cartesian product. Using what? At that time, we can use this one. Why? Cartesian product is also relation. How can we the limit the return data? Using selection. So for example, I'd like to access the manager, each department. Think about the company database. Company database, we have the employee table and the department table. So we have social security number, first name, last name, and so on. This department has the D number, this one has the D panel, and also manager SSN. So on. What I want is the first name, last name of each department. How can you get the first? Name? How to get the first name, last name of each department manager? How to get the who is the manager? This one, manager social security number. Okay? But this one has only what? 
number, social security number. Huh? But what we need is the first name and last name. Where do you get the first name and last name? Employee. Employee. So you need to access two tables, two relations. So the only way to combine the two tables is partition product. So we can do the partition product. So what is the result of partition product? Employee under the DPT. <coughs> so social security number, first name, last name, piano, D number, up to here, this is an employee. So D number, manager, SSN, and so on. So this is the department. Okay, then, so let's say we have the 10 employees and 3 departments. How many cubers? 30 cubers will be returned. We don't need all of them. What we need is only manager. Okay? So this is a result of what? The employee, employee, the Cartesian product, DPT. This is the result. Then, what we need is only manager's first name and last name. How can you restrict the manager first name and last name? Condition. Manager. We can give the condition. Condition is what? Where? This manager social security number is the same as what? SSN. 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 Do you remember this one is the boring key? That's the clue to find. So when I search <coughs> the database class, the, so we need to get the course ID, then the teacher of the course ID, student of the course ID, then we can combine. Similarly, here manager social security number is in the social security number. So, condition will be what? SSN is equal to MGR SSN. Then, for example, if we have the three department, we have one, 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 two, 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 three, three, three. Then, how many data will be returned? Three. Among 30, only? Three of them, one, 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 and one, one, one. That is the same. This tuple will be returned. Okay? So that is the condition. Then, we try to restrict first name and last name using projection. That's name and name. So this is the reject of the, this one. Okay? So, however, Whenever we combine two tables, then select the condition. It's a two-step, two-step. So instead of using this one and the Cartesian product, we are going to combine it to one. So that is the join operation. This is the called the join operation. So join <laughs> operation is the new one. Okay? which consists of Cartesian product and selection. So, how can we use? Relation 1, relation 2, and this one will go to the join condition as a subscript. So, this is the join operation. What's the name of the, this symbol? Is there any specific name? I usually call it butterfly. Butterfly symbol. I couldn't find the official name of the, this one. It's only used in relational database model. Okay? Very popular and it's because of this one, it looks like the one of the signature operation, characteristic, main characteristic of the relational database. You have if you ever use the SQL, it's just simple. Combine, combine, combine many tables with what? Join operation. Okay? Question. Is it always good? Depends. 
join operation. Why do we need a join operation anyway? Because data are separated. So this room is only for student, that room is only for the instructor. Why not? We put all the person in this room. Then we don't have to join. Right? Which one will be easier? To put all the people in one room or the separate? You need to access the multiple room. If all the people are in one room, I can just call one time. Manager, come out. Then that's it. Right? Actually, combining all together is simpler in terms of operation. However, in terms of management, as we discussed before, a lot of redundancy. In case of redundancy, it's very hard to access the data. It's very hard to manage. It's a, there are a lot of issues. Because of the database, we try to redundant free data. Because of that, we did uh, ER modeling, database modeling, separate, separate grouping, like that. Okay. However, in terms of performance, if you separate, 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 it will be overhead, really overhead. So join operation is not a simple operation. It's a one of very, very expensive. Expensive means overload. So a lot of research needed. So you need a lot of research. So you should be careful to use such a join operation. So this is the join operation. The join is a combination of the condition further and selection condition. Okay. However, later we will discuss. Join is not just simply combined together. There are different ways. For example, this is one example. I have 1,000 students here. I have one instructor outside the another room. Okay. Then I try to combine together. Okay. Then at the time. Which one is better? I'm going to come to the student room first and ask who is your instructor. If you Professor Lee and Koa, and next, who is the, your instructor? Then, 1,000 times. Then, the ask Professor Lee, who is the instructor of the database? Then, take out. That's one, the scenario. Second scenario is, uh, I'm going to bring the Professor Lee one time and ask the student, who is the, the uh, the, who is the student the under Professor Lee? Then all students coming up. Which one will be faster? Second. Definitely second is faster. That's the idea of query optimization. So query optimizer would try to find the fastest way, okay, optimal way to access the data. Another example of the, such a the query optimizer is the, I, use, I like to use the, this example when you travel to the Manhattan. How many different ways? So many. Too many. Train, bus, bicycle, auto bicycle. If you are super rich jet, private jet, or other, you can take the ferry and the first jet person take the Uber. There are probably millions of different ways. But we need one fastest way to go to Manhattan. That is the idea of query optimization. Okay? So there are really different. There are many, many different ways to access the data, but SQL does not show the way. However, if you take a look at the relation algebra expression, first, access one, employ, then apply condition, then apply projection, then rename output. Or, here, first, DPT. So we tend to change it. this one as the employ DPT. First, DPT join, I employ join with DPT with the join condition SSN is equal to MGR SSN and return project LA last name. The relation algebra expression show how to access the data, which is not possible in SQL. That is the reason to understand the query optimizer relation algebra is needed. Actually, query optimizer use relation algebra expression. 
who will see the layer. So this is the drawing operation from our team. What if I use the SSN for the manager social security number here? Okay? Is it a problem? No, it's not a problem. It's so complicated. So I suggest that the naming group. But if you are using the SSN like that, no problem in terms of modeling, in terms of even implementation. However, if you join, or the, if you are using the selection, it will be complicated. So at the time, you can use e employ dot SSN equal to the department dot SSN. So I dot attribute, we can use a such a dot to specify which attribute is this, the table name, relation name, dot attribute name, or column name. Okay, then we can specify the which column is that, which attribute is that, okay? So because of that, we strongly suggest, but sometimes intentionally, some of the database model intentionally use the same name, then they, the easily recognize that this is the orange, okay? But I strongly suggest to use the slightly different name, MGR, SSM, or ESSM. That will be easier to recognize in this case. Okay, so that is the, the join operation. So join operation is like the, this one. I'm going to use because the, we are going to have the, uh, the SQL like this next class, so a little bit speed up. So this is an example of the department manager that I showed you. So it's a subscript, okay? So manager social security number is equal to SSN. It's a subscript, okay? Bunch of different way I can see if I ask the, this question in your the midterm exam. Please try to follow the, the notation that we learned here. Okay? I know some of the textbook, if you are using the different textbook, maybe slightly different notation. Uh, please try to use uh, the subscription and this is uh, like the extension of the Cartesian product. Okay? You can just uh, use the, this one. Okay, so this is uh, the, the function of the join. There are different types of the join. So first, join. So R1, R2, join condition. If, what about this join condition? Can I use, uh, for example, A is bigger than B, or the A is equal or less than B, or whatever. Any join condition, if you are using the any join condition, it's fine. And that is called a theta join. Okay? So when we are saying the join, that is usually theta join. So don't worry about too much. What is the theta join? Theta join is the same as what you are thinking. Then, however, if we are using only equality, like this example, equal, most popular one. Equality is equijoin. Equijoin? Not sure. Anyway, e the equal, the equation. If you are using the this one, this the equation, e, e, the equal operation, uh, the join condition, that is the equation. This is the equation. There is another one, like the in case. Column name is the same. SSN is SSN. Sometimes automatically join the same name of attribute. This, some of the DBMS used uh, this one, but uh, mostly not. But uh, Dr. E.F. Code, when he proposed the relation algebra expression, put the, gave the example. So, SSN, SSN, in case the same name of the attribute between two tables automatically join. So, that is called the natural join. So, natural join use same name of attribute. For example, in this case, SSN is SSN. So automatically join. You don't have to specify join condition, but automatically join with the same name. At the time, the equi join use R1 asterisk 
R2. Okay? So, if we rewrite uh, this one, for example, SSN is equal to SSN. Same name of attribute. Not popular. Mostly you do not use, you will not use, but some of the app, the SQL, the app, the DBMS, the use the, the equation. So mostly it's a theta joint. Theta joint, it can be any condition. But practically, practically we are using equijoin. That makes sense, right? If that is not equijoin, that will be like the if one 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 is bigger than what the this one. A lot of the unexpected data will be written. So that is the, the join types of join, equijoin and natural join and uh, others. So this is an example of the natural join. So let's see the is there any the common attribute? The project under the DPT, DPT under the location. D name is the same. It will be automatically joined with this the uh, color. Okay? So that is the D project under the DPT and then DPT LC. This is the equivalent to the project under the DPT join with the DPT under the location, join condition is the this, the P dot D name is the same as the D dot the D name. So they are the same. So vector join and the equation. Then, using selection, projection, union, difference, Low meaning Cartesian product. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. These six operations are basic operation. Basic means using these six the operation we can make the any other operation. Delight. Okay? At that time these are the called complete set. Complete set of operate, relation algebra operation, which means when I actually the I taught my major was a mathematics education because of that I couldn't be a high school teacher actually after graduation, so I failed. Even I gave up <laughs> to take the nationwide e exam to be the public school. So most of the, in my the country. So most of the school is a public school, and there are some private school, but the public school teacher are much better than the private the school, usually in my hometown. That's a similar story in the many of the developed